either YouTubers or my first video to pair and engage. I would dedicate this one to my buddy Ian up in Kirimuir in Angus, who gave me this little locomotive uh, to see if I could get it working. So here's hoping Ian, keep watching, we'll see what happens. This is a little uh, locomotive, it looks like American, it's an 060, I can't make out what it says there, but I think it's one of these American things, AT and SE or something, not sure, you can bring it into camera so you make it out, not too good there, let's turn it around see if it's any better on the other side, there it is, AT and SE. I'll try and find out later what real line that is from. I'm pretty sure it's based on an American prototype. Um, so uh, apart from that, I don't know much about it. Ian, my buddy, told me that when he put this on the track, it sort of produced a little puff of smoke, and that was about it. So I'm going to just try and apply some power. Uh, which I have over here. So let's see what happens if I just apply a little bit of power. There's something happening there, the wheels are starting to turn. So I'm going to give it just a little bit more. But it's definitely an attempt, I don't know if you can see that, my big hands are in the way. Let's try again. Oh, there we go. Let's do power then. Okay, let's try and fit it onto my rolling road. My Marion Zeller Rolling Road, which I find really uh, good. And supply power, and let's see what happens. Not much. So I'm going to try and hook it up more permanently. Give it a little nudge. Uh, I usually find these work, work quite well. The power just cut out. Not much happening there. Okay, let's try this. Not much happening there. Okay. Right, I'm going to try and dismantle this. So as I look round about, I see there's a little screw underneath, but I don't believe that that's what's holding it together. My experience of some of these is that there's normally a little click and just here you'll see there's a little uh, space and in here I think is a little clip, yep, almost like coaches in the double O gauge where you have a little clip holding them, one on the other side, so I'm just going to try and prise that open. Um, yeah, it seems to come across, and there we go, it was dismantled. So, that's the body shell, good condition, and this is what's inside. Not very much, a little motor, driving a wheel, driving a cog, which drives a set of gears in there. I'm just noticing that the drive gear here is loose, aha, uh -huh. yeah, so that should be in there. Okay. Right, then let's see what happens this time. Oops. I'm trying to keep it in shot. Power on.
two, it's definitely trying to work. So let's use our own favourite remedy, which is lubrication. A bit of Pico Power Loop. And just a drop on the gears, just enough. A spot on the drive. There, there, there. Here. I'm going to take this out of the way. I think it's jamming things up a wee bit. That looks great. Okay. Let's see what happens now. Whoops. In there. It's trying to work. It's definitely trying to work, folks. I'm not used to handling little machines like this. So let me try and take this arm out of the way. Out of arm's way. Uh, no, okay, don't worry. This out of arm's way. I thought it was good. Right, okay, let's put that into there. Because if that's not sitting properly, obviously it's going to gunge up the works. And if that one's not sitting properly, it might just sort of prevent it. So let's see how it goes there. Right. So, I decided to go onto the computer and I looked up the AT and S, I think it was SE, but it's actually SF, and apparently the railroad was called the Atchison and Torpedo and Santa Fe Railroad, um, which started in 1859, and there's a lot of information on the web about it. Uh, First, when you come to his Wikipedia, so anyone's interested, they can look up that. I tried to see if there was any word about a little 060, but uh, it doesn't seem to be listed among its rolling stock. So whether this was just a little shunter for their freight yards, and therefore not worthy of a mention. Uh, I really couldn't say. However, that's it there. Clipped back into place. Make sure they're there. Uh, the couplings seem to be working. So, just a case to make sure it's still operational. So, let's fit it on to my Marion Zeller and see if it's still working. Try and change the direction. Mm hmm. Nearly there. Nearly there. Come on, baby. Nearly there. I definitely feel it's something to do with the weight of these locomotives and the bearings of these rollers. Uh, I'll have to investigate that. But that's definitely working. I'm sure we'll all agree on that one. That's working. Yeah. So, next thing I'll do is I'll get it onto my, my uh, new N-gauge layout, which doesn't look much, but it does me very well and we'll let you see it running on the track. We'll be back with you as soon as we can. 
Well, here I am in my shed, and this is the layout that I showed you earlier on, one I got from eBay, uh, quite uh, inexpensive, it's just a simple double loop, uh, ignore this big thing up here, I'll tell you that later on, it comes round there, and in this side we've got a siding, uh, which is there, and on the other track, I've got two sidings which allows me to store some rolling stock. So I put my little locomotive onto the siding. So I'm just going to make sure that the points are okay. Oops, sorry about handheld. I'm going to try and stable up a wee bit. Right, let me just take it out a wee bit. I haven't tested this. So I'm just going to make sure the points are set. There we go. And we're on the outside track, so I've got my controller over here. This one is the outside one, so I'm just going to wind that up a wee bit. Not much happening, they probably need a wee bit of movement. So I'm just going to give this little baby a wee helping hand. It's the first time she's actually running the track for a long time, and sure enough, there she's trying to go. And that's her, so I'll just follow her round the back of the track to underneath the other building, it's coming round nicely. Oh, here she comes all the way around. So that seems to have worked. I'll we'll just come out a wee bit and we'll just watch her run round again. Looks pretty smooth. Oh, I'd like to find out more about what kind of locomotive it is. Oops, just as I said that, she seemed to have stopped. Okay, I'm just going to go and give a little helping hand. Well, I put on the bench and I just put the alignment of the coin rods and I found that there was slightly out of alignment. You have to remember that in something of this size, a small difference, a small twist in the world can be a big difference, a little locomotive like this. And there she's running lovely and smooth all the way around. So next time round I'm going to try and reverse her into the siding yard and see if we'll pick up these coaches. So just about there. Into reverse, switch the points, put the power up, let's see if she comes without any help. There we go. And to the siding, lovely, watching the hook up, there we go, put it into forward, let's see if she goes on her own bat, lovely, ah, 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 can I help with it a little nudge, there we go, through the point, and there uh, she takes a little train. That looks quite nice. Let's watch her come out the other end. Oh yeah. Just needed a wee bit of TLC. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. This is it's determined. Maybe I didn't switch the points back. I didn't switch the points back, guys. And guys, this is... Just a little bit of love. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? This little coach is kind of suited. You can also imagine this in the John Ferry Railway, didn't you? Up the Alps. The old little villages with the little picture postcard fronts and the flowers and the paints. Mm -hmm. I'm very pleased with that. So Ian if you're watching, bring it round again. So before I put her to bed, let's see she'll reverse into the siding and uncouple. So we'll just slow her down about there. Nice and smooth response, change the polarity, change the points, and in you come. You're going to move? No, she's not going to move. Oh, 
Oh, just a little helping hand. Yeah. Oops, missed it. There we go. Sorry, folks. Centicons, and that will do nicely.